London boroughs have been shamed for having the lowest rates of recycling in Britain. The capital claims 9 out of 10 of the areas with the lowest recycling rates in the country, according to DIFRA. And Barking and Dagenham is featured among the top worst areas for recycling, reusing only 20% of their waste. According to the local council, Barking and Dagenham data, in the past few years, this barrel has produced just under 90,000 tons of waste. This means that um, on average, each of the barrel's households throws away approximately one ton of residual waste. As a result, Barking and Dagenham has the highest level of waste production per household in London. This is um, 50 kilograms more per household than our closest performing barrels. Although some of the barrels waste is a little recycled, some uh, of it is reused, some diverted for energy recovery. The truth is that a lot ends up in rivers, streets, gardens and parks. This means uh, precious resources are being wasted. Managing waste effectively is a key part of creating a clean, green and safe barrel. NOAA's art projects exist as a response to climate change because of plastic and general waste. Setting out our vision and our key objectives of reducing the amount of waste we produce and throw away, reuse as much as possible and recycling more than we do now. This it's about changing our current behavior and all working together to ensure a sustainable future for our borough and for our planet. Recognizing that it is our responsibility and our ownership to reduce, reuse and recycle, we can start to make a difference. My name is Laura and I'm the founder of the multi-award winning Laura IR Gallery and, of course, the creative director of uh, Barking's one and only Noah's Art Project, a community art and environmental initiative involving weekly creative and environmental conscious activities that have gained increasing popularity since the start of the project in uh, September last year. I wanted to create an incredible socially engaged sculpture that symbolizes a contrast between the reality of the present uh, plastic waste problem and the possibilities we sparkle for the future. The possibility of clean and clear open spaces as well as the possibility of a united community for years to come. The inspiration for the project uh, came from the images I was bombarded with every day right outside my doorstep. I would witness plastic waste across the streets and parks at every turn. I even remember finding a little bird forming its nest with bits of rubbish. We are making our planet ill. The fact that my borough used to formerly be known as one of the largest fishing ports in Britain made witnessing these things even worse. I knew that change could not wait and that it could not be done 
without the help of the whole community. Since the project began, the numbers have been just speaking for themselves. Uh, we have seen hundreds of participants of all ages and abilities taking part in our weekly activities. Plastic bottles, litter picking and painting workshops. Over 3,000 bottles have been cleared from our open spaces, cleaned and painted in our very own art gallery in Barkin, which then was transformed into a community hub full of environmentally focused creativity where everyone became an artist. Artists are people who make, who create. We did not just recycle these plastic bottles, but we upcycled them into individuals' works of art in their own right, which will be fused together to form something even more uh, remarkable, our arc. The enormous scale of the arc will not only put into perspective the problem of plastic pollution in Barking, but also the level to which residents united for our friends and family, for our future. With that said, we invite you to our art installation's grand reveal on Saturday the 4th of March at 1 o'clock. Come and celebrate the change we created together as a community against the odds against um, our barrels worsening pollution problem and reputation of social divisions. We want to celebrate our uh, activists. Join us, be our activists as well, become one. And uh, we are looking forward to meeting you all. Be an activist, the power is in your hands. Come, paint the bottles, make your difference. Recycle, upcycle, anything you can do, doing your bit, it will make a lot of difference in the planet, to our nature. Um, picking up the bottles from your nearby parks, play your part and together we can change our future.